All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my weekly video review for this week's episode of Fear the Walking Dead Season 6. This is for episode 3 now. It is called Alaska. All right, and this review will contain spoilers if you guys have not seen this episode yet for Fear of the Walking Dead Season 6. Uh, you're definitely going to want to watch it before you watch this review because this was another great episode. And the main question I have for this one is, when did Fear of the Walking Dead become better than the original Walking Dead series? <laughs> like, when when did that happen? Because I, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know what's happened. But uh, somehow we're three episodes in. And I'm just thinking of what the first three episodes looked like for The Walking Dead Season 10. And I mean, they were good. Maybe it's just because, I, you know, I don't expect this. Uh, but, um, you know, I mean, Walking Dead Season 10 was great and everything. But this is awesome, man. This is some of the best stuff we've seen for Fear of the Walking Dead in years. Uh, probably since uh, Season 3 in terms of its start. This is one of the best... Uh, starts to a new season of Fear of the Walking Dead we've ever seen. And I want to say this is actually the best episode so far of this season. Uh, and like I said, major spoilers. So if you haven't watched the episode yet, watch it uh, before you watch this uh, this review. Uh, I'll schedule this one so that I don't spoil it for anybody because I did feel like this was a great kind of reveal moment at the end. Uh, we sort of knew that something like this would probably happen because they had announced early uh, 2020. There were some pictures of Dwight with uh, with Sherry uh, on set for filming, so we kind of knew, and he was wearing the same uh, attire that he's wearing in this episode. So when we saw the trailer and we saw the uh, the preview pictures and everything, we kind of knew it was like, okay, so you'll probably see Dwight and Sherry reunited in this uh, in this episode. And uh, I kind of forgot about it as the episode went on, uh, but then it came uh, right in at the end and was uh, an awesome moment for Dwight. I want to say the best moment of the series for Dwight. And I absolutely love what they've done with Dwight throughout the series for Walking Dead slash Fear of the Walking Dead, for Walking Dead Universe, for the TV series. Because uh, when Dwight comes in at first, when you meet him in season six of the original Walking Dead series, and it's interesting, like we, we, meet him in, we meet him in season six, and now we're seeing him in Fear of the Walking Dead season six. Uh, but when we meet him, he's a hardcore bad guy. He's an awesome villain. He kind of comes in as like a Daryl equivalent uh, villain. He's sort of best Daryl in some ways. And then we get to meet kind of the rest of the saviors. We get to meet Sherry. We get to meet Negan. And we get to see their way of life and how they're living at the uh, sanctuary. Um, and, you know, I really hated Dwight earlier on in the series. And uh, to get to see kind of baby-faced Dwight or to get to see him, uh, you know, in Fear of the Walking Dead, and instead of being sort of a, uh, a villain or an anti-hero, I feel like at this time, after seeing him even for, what, is it two seasons now for Fear of the Walking Dead, uh, he kind of is, I want to say... You know, maybe you still classify him as an anti-hero, but he's, he's basically a, a good guy now, um, which is awesome to see. And to see him reunited with Sherry at the end of this episode uh, was very touching. It's one of the most touching moments in all of the Walking Dead uh, series, I want to say, for, for either series, Walking Dead Universe, because it's been so long since they've seen each other. I'm trying to think of, like, what episode was it and how many years ago was it when Sherry left and Dwight kind of went off looking for her. Was that season eight when that happened? Uh, and man, that just feels like a lifetime ago now. You know, you think back in terms of se uh, seasons, that's, I guess, like you would consider that to be, I guess, three seasons in terms of time. But uh, because we've had the whole craziness this year with uh, with COVID and everything, um, it, ju it just feels like a lifetime ago since they were kind of split up and he's been looking for her all this time. And finally, in this episode here in Alaska, he finally finds her. So I absolutely loved it. Uh, very happy to see those two reunited again. Um, happy to see Sherry back in the Walking Dead Universe series, adding another kind of uh, OG uh, uh, survivor for Walking Dead that was introduced also in season six of the original Walking Dead series, which at this point now is basically five, you know, five or six years ago, depending on how you want to count it. Um, so uh, that's a long time, man. So it's cool to see her back. Uh, looking forward to seeing uh, how she's changed, what uh, what is different about her, how 
her and Dwight kind of uh, get along and, and kind of get back together here, if they can let go of the past, if they can forgive each other uh, for what happened in the time of All Out War, in the time of the, uh, the Saviors, in the time at the Sanctuary, and what happened with Negan and everything, and Daryl and the others. So um, very excited to see what they do with that and, and how that works out going forward. But I'm extremely happy uh, that uh, that we've we've been able to see this uh, this this episode and that reuniting. So aside from that, um, we also have some fantastic stuff in this episode with uh, both Althea and then also this building that they have to. Um, Traverse. Uh, this episode was described as Die Hard with Zombies, and uh, I want to say it, it felt exactly like that. Uh, I really like what they did with the building in this one, and also it didn't encompass the whole episode, so it was just kind of part of the episode. You know, uh, definitely the highlight has to be the end with Sherry returning to see Dwight. Um, but you know, even to get to see them go through the uh, the building was very scary at some uh, some parts. Uh, I personally absolutely freaking hate rats. Um, you know, when I'm putting out the garbage and stuff like that, sometimes they're around and they're just they're just disgusting. Sometimes uh, the, there's a cat. We got a community cat that lives kind of in the backyard. I feed her and stuff, and uh, she'll get them sometimes, right? Like the rats will come through and she'll she'll kill them. And so I got to go around and clean up these. Sometimes I have to go around and clean up their bodies after she's done with them. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's absolutely disgusting. Um, you know, it's uh, so I, I hate rats, man. And so they have to crawl through this one section. Uh, there's like the there's like pipe and and stuff like that, and they have to kind of crawl through to try to get to try to traverse up this building to the rooftop so that um, Althea can be reunited with Isabel and um, she sort of is by walkie-talkie in a way but it, it seems that she's she's she calls she calls it off with her uh, maybe not being able to bring herself to to do that uh, not exactly sure why um, I'm not sure if it's if it's a fear thing for her that she kind of is she kind of gets freaked out so she doesn't so she doesn't meet with her or whatever uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why she decided to make that decision. If she just it didn't feel right, so she didn't go for it. But um, it was, I guess, good for her to hear that Isabel is still alive, and we know that Isabel is in the CRM system. It's sort of a uh, fan theory right now that uh, Isabel may be the daughter of Elizabeth, who is the lead villain in uh, Walking Dead World Beyond, which I just did a review for yesterday, if you guys haven't seen it. And, uh, you know, she's in she's in a good number of those episodes from uh, the first season of World Beyond. So uh, so her possibly her daughter here, uh, Isabel, and kind of Althea looking for, and then at the end kind of deciding not to, not to go for it with the flare and everything. So, but she's able to find the, I think she said it was called Cip, uh, Ciprol, or at least the antibiotic or the medication that's, uh, that's uh, useful in fighting back the plague. As uh, you have these rats going through, you have um, a whole bunch of people in the building that end up getting sick, uh, Dwight included, as we go uh, further to the end of this episode. There were some very cool zombie kills as, as well as they were kind of traversing through there in and around the uh, the rats. Uh, it's like a rat eating a zombie. Um, Althea with the, uh, I don't know what they're called exactly. They're basically like nux, but they have the, uh, the knife parts on the end. Uh, knife parts on the end and she's killing she's killing uh, zombies with that uh dwight's got his hatchet and he's uh rick style he's killing he's killing some different uh, walkers in and around and uh, we get the sense as the episode goes through that uh, dwight and althea have developed like this really um kind of close uh, uh, uh friendship something like this um, you know, we, we know that Althea is, well, she's gay, right? So, <laughs> that's another gay character. Uh, le she's, she's a lesbian. So, uh, so her, so I, so I feel like they're bros. I feel like Dwight and Althea are kind of like bros together. You guys know what I mean. Um, <laughs> so they got, they got the recorders going. Dwight, like, leaves her a message and this kind of stuff. You know, in like a, like a bro way, right? So, um, you know, it's like he, he loves her, but he loves her in like a, like a bro way, right? So, uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> so that's good stuff. Uh, you know, I liked it. And uh, we do get to meet this one lady who's Nora. And uh, they return a uh, driver's license uh, to uh, her from Mark Smith, I think the name was on it, who was one of uh, the people there that she cared for or cared about 
who died uh, as a result of the um, the plague, as everybody is basically dying there. And they sort of are able to kind of save them as things go through closer to the end there. Uh, we do get confirmation that they are part of Virginia's group, but their task is to kind of go out, kind of go around and sort of uh, check out uh, groups, maybe look for supplies and then or anything useful and then try to find out what happened to people, how they died and what happened. And we also get another uh, writing with spray paint, I think it is, where the, the end is the beginning. So uh, I'm even starting to wonder if maybe maybe they knew that it was, The Walking Dead was going to be ending around this time, and so they started putting it in the episodes. Um, so maybe them announcing that The Walking Dead series was going to end like at the end of Season 12 or Season 11, whatever the count ended up being, maybe it would would have happened anyway, even if COVID would have never happened, that, that that's what they would have done anyway. I'm not sure, but you guys can leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about the group that keeps writing the end is the beginning on everything. So it uh, reminds me that I think there's a Smashing Pumpkins song. is like the beginning is the end is the beginning or something. Uh, they used it in Watchmen too, I think, which uh, also features JDM, which is kind of cool. He plays the comedian in it. So that's kind of cool. Um, so the beer lady, so you have that kind of nickname for her. We have the drop site uh, baker, the different channels that they're on. Uh, Alaska, they're checking the, the driver's license, and, and, and Dwight does find one that is from from Alaska. And I, Is that Mark? I think that's Mark, yeah. So then you have just the building, a lot of cool stuff in the building, lots of cool uh, zombie kills as you're going through, lots of zombies kind of coming out at them, in and around all the stuff that's there and uh, them kind of killing them all down and everything. And uh, it was just a really exciting episode. I liked some of the walkers falling down as they're going into the stair, uh, the staircase area, them getting kind of trapped off and blocked off. And um, it was just really great as far as kind of the, uh, like the, the getting through the building to get to the top was, was pretty exciting to see them. At the beginning of the episode, we also had stuff with Morgan and Morgan Jr., um, we call him Junior now, I guess. <laughs> and, and so Morgan has fastened his axe to uh, to extend it to his uh, to his bow, I guess. So he's got kind of a I don't know what you would uh, technically classify that as like a long axe, not exactly a scythe, but it's it's kind of Grim Reaper esque in some ways. And there's like this big this big axe, and everything's just kind of cool. And he's like swinging it around his swinging it around his head. So he's, he's practicing with it, getting ready to maybe having to get used to the weight at the one end of it. So. Uh, that's pretty cool. So he fixes that and uh, 16 different somebodies as things have been kind of going through for him. So, uh, but uh, next episode looks exciting. Uh, they're showing John and that for Morgan too and uh, Virginia. So, so far, amazing stuff, man. Really great season so far. I'm already already enjoying it very much. So I think that's most of what I want to say for the, uh, the building and everything. I just thought it was very cool. Very happy to see Sherry back thought that uh, Nora and the group that was there was, um, you know, was, he felt sorry for them because they're all sick and everything, which, um, you know, given this year <laughs> for a second, I thought it was like, did they get some kind of flu virus? Wasn't that the prison virus was like Spanish flu or something? It's like, oh God, this year, man. And uh, like even the part where I think Althea, like she covers her, covers her face and stuff, like she masks it. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> that's weird. Anyway, it's just, just a coincidence, right? You know what I mean? It's just, uh, you know, they had no idea what was going to happen afterwards. Just, just a coincidence. But, uh, but the sickness was plague. It wasn't any kind of a uh, new flu virus or something. So, so there's that. But uh, loved it. Uh, awesome stuff. And uh, let me know what you guys thought about the episode, man. Um, I can't help but give it a perfect 10. You know, I thought it was so cool. Getting to see the building was different. We've never seen any environment like that before in Walking Dead, I don't think. Uh, the closest thing we've seen to that was maybe Dawn in the police station. That's about it. Um, but nothing, nothing that, like this unique, uh, which was really sweet, the rooftop and everything else. And, uh, you know, that, that meetup at the end, man, just a, just an awesome episode, stacked episode, the third episode. And that makes it for me actually the best episode of the season so far, actually beating out the first episode with Morgan and the bounty hunter, which was also an awesome episode. But yeah, that, that reuniting between Dwight and Sherry at the end when he's running towards her and everything. You know, I'm not a, I, I'm not a guy who's into romance very much and that kind of stuff, you know, the girly stuff, but, uh, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? But it was, I, I admit it, it was still awesome. It was still really, really good. Uh, so, you know, you get the feels, the feels, right? So it was good. Um, so that'll be it for this review, guys. Let me know what you thought. If you got to see this episode, Alaska, uh, Fear the Walking Dead Season 6, Episode 3, and excited to see Fear the Walking Dead Season 6, Episode 4, uh, which gives us the five episodes left of this half. And then I guess we're waiting till maybe next summer until we see the other, the other episodes or late spring or something. 
probably summer at this point, right? So if they can continue with it. Uh, so that's uh, that's it for this uh, review, guys. Awesome episode. Thumb it up. Leave a comment. I really want to hear what you guys have to say about this. What did you think about Dwight being reunited with Sherry and about this episode? I just thought it was amazing for you know to, to think this is a fear episode. It's like you, Again, you could easily take this, put it in the original Walking Dead series, and it still would have been an amazing episode, awesome episode for Walking Dead. For To see this in fear is like, wow, man, considering some of the episodes they've done. Like If you look at some of the ones from the second half of season five, compare this to that. It's like, well, there's no comparison. That's it for this video, guys. We'll see you again soon for another. As always, this is Trev, and I'm saying peace later, guys. See you soon.